Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, this is Sherman, and um, we're going to talk a little bit today about what do successful people do. Um, having a wonderful week this week, guys. I'm looking forward to talking to you about this uh, about this um, this topic because it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, it's something that uh, uh, that I. Uh, I wish somebody would have told me about a long, long time ago. I've probably been more successful than I am now. Um, but uh, I hope you get something out of this. Um, many of you know I have my own business, and um, uh, I'm uh, really excited about that business because of the potential that it has and, and the people that you can impact and all the great things that happen as a result of you um, touching people's lives. So, um, um, so I get to meet a, a myriad of people on, on a daily basis that I would normally not meet um, uh, and very successful people very uh, very articulate people and it's kind of neat I met a guy yesterday as a matter of fact and um, and it was just uh, you know one of the hardest things for us all to do is just to get out of our comfort zone and to go out and meet people and so I went out and uh, just standing in line and uh, I'm the kind of person that will just talk to anybody you guys I, I, I'm generally a very friendly person um, but this time I was kind of standing in line and I said, you know what, I guess I could just stand here the whole time or I could talk to this brother that's standing behind me and strike up a conversation with him. Um, met the guy, very interesting guy. He's from Los Angeles. Um, uh, he's got a great uh, company. He's a creatives art, creative arts guy. Um, I think he's a, um, what do they call it, a, um, uh, a graphic designer type person. Just a great guy. Um, learned all about his family, learned about his likes and his dislikes and everything else. Um, and made a really great, valuable contact with that guy. Somebody I normally would not, you know, uh, in ordinary circumstances meet because I'm learning how to become that kind of person who's a more of an outgoing person, more of a person who wants to get in contact with people. Well, anyways, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what do successful people do. Well, uh, I'm going to give you three points, and I, I just really want you to write them down, and um, and and really get get. This more than anything will get your juices going, um, uh, and hopefully uh, this will impact your life. Uh, well, the first thing that successful people do is they plan. Um, um, I, I like to call this m my vision starter. You know, they actually successful people have a vision for where they want to go. Not only do they have a short term goal, but they actually have a, a medium term, uh, mid term goal and a long term goal. So they have short, medium, and long term goals. Um, and, and they have a plan. Actually, even before they put their goal together, they have a plan. They say, hey, you know what? At, at two years, I want to be here. Or at six months, I want to be here. At another place, I want to be here. At another place, I want to be here. So they actually have a plan for, for where they want to go. They actually can see into the future of where their business is or their whatever uh, thing that they're involved in, where it's going to be at. And that's, that's something that a lot of us don't have yet. So that's the first thing that a, excuse me, a successful person does is they actually plan or they actually have a vision for where they want to go. The second thing that I, I, I see that successful people do um, is that they actually set goals. You know, they actually say, okay, I've got this plan, but, um, but a plan is really no good unless you actually set goals and you say, okay, in such and such a period of time, I'm going to do this. In such and such a period, I'm going to do that. And, that, and they actually plan out what they're going to do. They actually set goals for what they're going to do. Um, many of you have heard this story before, but it bears repeating again, is my wife, Linda, the lovely Mrs. Ray. Um, she wanted to become an interior designer. And so that was her plan. Her plan was, hey, I want to become an interior designer. Okay, well, we had to set some goals. Okay, one is you got to get actually get, to sc get going in school. And they actually said in school when she got to school that, hey, at, by this time you're going to he be here, by this time you're going to be here, and by this time you're going to be graduating. Okay? And so that's really what you've got to do. And for you and your endeavor, that's what you're going to have to do too. You're going to have to say, okay, I like doing this, okay, then I can envision myself, have the vision to say I want to be here, in, you know, in, in, uh, in, in my life. Well, I've got to set a goal how I'm going to get there. I've got to actually put some some uh, I got to put some uh, flesh on this bones. You know, I've got to say, okay, I'm going to be here. The next thing that I see successful people do is they actually get going. I know it sounds really stupid, but so many of us don't just get moving. We don't 
get up out of our out of our easy chairs and say, okay, I'm going to do this. And and that is uh, that's I think that's a killer. Now you can have great vision, and some of the greatest people in the world have had great vision, and they've had great goals. But if they don't put anything to it, they don't put any action to those those words, then really is it worth anything? Well, no, it's not. So you really need to get up out of your chair and just do it, you guys. If you plan on going back to school, guess what? The hardest thing for you to do is to pick up the phone, call the administrator of the school and say, I want to sign up, okay? But I'll tell you, that is probably the easiest thing to do because it's going to set, you know why it's the easiest thing to do? Because it's going to set things in motion that you can't stop. Know what I mean? Unfortunately, you know, uh, for many of us, that's what we need to do. We need to actually just get up out of the boat, just like Peter did. And he just got out of the boat. He saw Jesus walking on the water. And he said, and Jesus said, hey, Peter, let's see if you really got what it takes. Get out of the boat. Some of us, that's what we got to do. We just got to get out of the boat. Because once you get out of the boat, guess what? There's no turning back. Okay? Yeah, there's going to be waves to the right and to the left of you. But guess what? You're out of the boat. You're moving forward. Okay, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to get out of the boat. Well, what is it, and with the little bit of time I got left, what does getting out of the boat look like? Okay, what does that look like? Well, first of all, you need to look like a winner. Okay, you need to dress up. You need to you need to put on the clothes. You need to you need to cut your hair. You need to wash your face. You need to you need to you know straighten yourself up. And one of the things that kills me the most about and I'm speaking to the guys is when you want to look like a winner, you walk around with a shirt that doesn't look like it's pressed. Hey guys, guess what? People judge you by what you look like. Okay. Unfortunately, they don't know. They the first thing they're going to see is going to make a major impression on them. So you need to get and look like a winner, okay? That means your hair, your clothes, okay? Your attitude, okay? And this is a big one, and we're going to end on this one. It's your attitude. I'm going to show you a picture here, you guys, and I want you to make a decision for me and tell me which one of these people looks like he has got the winner's attitude, okay? I'm going to put this picture up in front of you, and to many of you, this is going to look very familiar, okay? Which one of these guys looks like he's got the winner's attitude, okay? All right, now you made your decision, right? Okay, based on what you see, which one of these guys looks like the most likely person to be a winner, okay? Now, I want to ask you something even more obvious. Who looks like he is probably not going to be a winner? Who looks in this picture like, guess what? I'm not very confident in myself, okay? Pretty obvious, isn't it? I asked the same question of my grandkids, you guys. And I said, hey, which one of these people looks like he's probably going to be the winner? And you know who they said? They said, this guy right here. They said, hey, this guy looks like the most obvious winner. Okay? Okay? And I said, okay, who looks like he's the most obvious loser? And like many of you, you said this guy right here. Okay? Why? Well, it's because of the way he's standing. It's the way that the attitude he gets. And guess what, you guys? Sometimes that's what's going to happen with you, too. When you're going to walk into a situation and people are going to look at you, they're going to say, gosh, is he a winner or is he a loser? Based upon just what you look like. I think that was a great illustration. Anyways, I just wanted to leave you with that. What do successful people do is they plan. They set goals. They get moving. Okay, And when they get moving, they act like winners. They act like somebody who's actually going someplace. They act like somebody who's actually going to get what they want. And I have to tell you right now, you guys, people are going to people are going to change because of what you do and the way you come into a room, the way you present yourself. If you come in like a winner, guess what? You're going to go out like a winner. Okay. If you come in like a loser, guess what? That's what's going to happen too. Anyways, hey, I'm glad you stuck stuck with me all this time. Um, I appreciate it. If you get have any comments on what we've talked about today, let me know. This is Sherman Ray. Uh, we'll see you probably on church on Sunday. If not, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I want to wish my brother a happy birthday because his birthday is coming up real quick. Um, and I want to uh, give a belated happy birthday to my niece. Uh, love you. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.